Having a good exit indicator is crucial when it comes to trading as it can maximize your profits by giving the price action enough room to breathe and mitigate your losses by getting you out of the trade before the price triggers your stop loss. So in this video, I will share with you the top five powerful exit indicators that will make you huge profits long term. I will also explain how to implement them into your trading strategy for the best results possible. Okay, without wasting any time, let's get into it. Okay, so the number five exit indicator on my list is called Parabolic SAR. Let's go ahead and add it to our chart. The Parabolic SAR is a technical indicator used to determine the price direction of an asset as well as draw attention to when the price direction is changing. This indicator can also be used for entry signals. It appears on a chart as a series of dots either above or below an asset's price depending on the direction of the price is moving. A dot is placed below the price when it's trending upward and above the price when it's trending downward. When the dots flip, it indicates that a potential change in price direction is on the way. For example, if the dots are above the price, when they flip below the price, it could signal a further rise in price. As the price of a stock rises, the dots will rise as well, first slowly and then picking up speed and accelerating with the trend. Now let me give you an example on how you would use this indicator for exit signals. For example, your strategy issued a new short signal right on its candlestick. Let's say your risk reward ratio is 1 to 1.5. I mean, it's not bad, you closed it with a good profit, but then you've seen that the price keeps moving in your favor. And if you had not closed this trade right there, you would have made more profit. That's why not capping your profits is a really good idea, but you can't just be exiting the trade whenever you want. You need to have a mechanical system that would actually tell you when to close the position. That's why using an exit indicator is so important. So in this example, if you use an exit indicator to close your position, you would have closed it right on a candlestick. because we see the dots just shifted below the price. So you pretty much had an exit signal at the bottom of this trend, and your risk reward ratio on this trade could have been 3.19 to 1. Exactly opposite would work for long trades. For example, your strategy issued a signal to go long right on this candlestick. You can also use the parabolic SAR indicator as a reference point of where to place your stop loss. And again, we can see that by using a standard risk reward ratio, we're missing out on really massive moves. So if we had not closed the position right there and let our exit indicator decide when to close the position, we could have closed this trade right on this candlestick. We see that the risk reward ratio on this trade is 6.82 to 1, which is absolutely insane. And if you give yourself chances like that every single time you take a trade, you will no doubt double or even triple your account in no time. The only downside of this exit indicator is that it doesn't react to the price changes that quickly. For example, if you took a long trade right here, we see the price started consolidating and it didn't quite go in our favor. And our exit indicator was too slow to react to this and it didn't get us out of the trade before the price triggered our stop loss. Okay, now let's move on to our next exit indicator, which is on the fourth place. Not a lot of people know that we can use Heiken Ashi as an exit indicator as well. The majority of people would use it for trade confirmations. I think it works really well both ways. So Heiken Ashi means average bar in Japanese. This technique can be used in conjunction with candlestick charts when trading securities to spot market trends and predict future prices. It's useful for making candlestick charts more readable and trends easier to analyze. As we all know, most profits are generated when markets are trending, so predicting trends correctly is necessary. There are a few differences between the regular Japanese and Heiken Ashi candlesticks. Heiken Ashi has a smoother look because it's essentially taking an average of the movement. There is a tendency with Heiken Ashi for the candles to stay red during a downtrend and green during an uptrend, whereas normal candlesticks alternate color even if the price is moving dominantly in one direction. Because Heiken Ashi is taking an average, the current price on a candle may not match the price at which the market is actually trading. Using Heiken Ashi as an exit indicator can be really beneficial. For example, your strategy issued a sell signal right on its candlestick. And now you would exit the trade as soon as you have a green Heiken Ashi appeared on a chart. 
We see that we got an exit signal as soon as the price started reversing. I'm not saying you will catch tops and bottoms with this indicator, but it can be really useful for those who use a free trading view plan as they don't have to worry about adding an additional indicator to their chart. Sometimes the exit signals are extremely accurate. For example, your strategy issued a long signal right on a candlestick. So you pretty much would have closed this trade at the top of the trend. Whereas the parabolic star would probably give you an exit signal right on his candlestick. Those may just be a couple extra pips, but remember they all add up at the end of the day. We see sometimes it reacts to the price changes really quickly, but sometimes it issues exit signals in the middle of the trend, which can be quite frustrating, but most of the times it issues pretty accurate signals. Okay, so on a third place, we've got an indicator called SSL Hybrid. This one by Mikel Debelo. Obviously, you're not going to be using the whole thing. You only need these exit arrows. You can also play with the length. I like to keep it at 30. This indicator is pretty good and it issues quite accurate exit signals. I don't have much information on how these exit signals are calculated. And the difference between this indicator and the other two I just showed you is the ability to better customize the exit signals. You can change the length, for example, from 30 to 20. We see that the signals react to the price changes a bit faster. You can also use these arrows as an entry confirmation. So whenever you have a blue arrow printed below the price, this is a signal to go long. And whenever you have a red arrow printed above the price, this is a signal to go short. It's not recommended to use this indicator on its own because it issues quite a few false signals. So adding a baseline to it could be a really good idea. We see right away we filtered out three false signals. We also see that these signals allow us to catch really good trades. The risk reward ratio is nearly 4 to 1. However, I must say that sometimes we do get some early exits. But as long as you catch a couple moves like this per day, you're really going to see your account grow. Sometimes these signals can be really accurate. We see that we almost exit in the trades at the top and bottom, which is really something we're looking for in a good exit indicator. Okay, so on a second place, we've got an indicator called Tricks MA. This one right here. So the triple exponential average or tricks is a momentum indicator used by technical traders that shows the percentage change in a moving average that has been smoothed exponentially three times. The triple smoothing of moving averages is designed to filter out price movements that are considered insignificant or unimportant. Tricks is also implemented by technical traders to produce signals that are similar in nature to the moving average convergence divergence or MACD. This indicator can also be used to identify oversold and overbought markets and it's also a momentum indicator. Like many oscillators, Tricks oscillates around a zero line. When it's used as an oscillator, an extreme positive value indicates an overbought market while an extreme negative value indicates an oversold market. It filters out the price action really well and we don't get any exit signals when the price movements are insignificant. We see normally an exit indicator would get us out of the trade somewhere at this point, but if we take a look at the tricks indicator, we see there is no sign of an exit signal whatsoever. Every time we have a cross, we see there is a dot appeared on the indicator. We see the exit signals are extremely powerful. Although this is a really good exit indicator, I would not recommend it for entry signals. So go ahead and backtest it on different markets and different timeframes to see how well it performs. Okay, and we finally got to the best exit indicator I have found so far. And this indicator has a really powerful name. It's called a Rex. So let's go ahead and add it to our chart. We see there are quite a few of them, but I personally like to use this one by Vitalot. 
The Rex oscillator is an indicator that measures market behavior based on the relationship of the close to the open, high and low values of the same bar. A big difference between the high and close on the bar indicates weakness and wide disparity between the low and close indicates strength. When the Rex oscillator turns positive in a bearish trend, a reversal is indicated. Likewise, a Rex turning negative in a bull market indicates a reversal to the downside. So whenever we see the blue line crossing over the yellow line, this is an indicator to close a short position. And whenever we see the blue line crossing under the yellow line, this is an indicator to close a long position. Right away, we can see that those exit signals work extremely well. So we see that the amount of pips this indicator can collect is absolutely ridiculous. Also note that the indicator is on a default settings. You can use this indicator with any strategy I showed you on this channel. You don't necessarily need to keep it on a chart all the time. You can only add it after you have opened the position so that you don't get confused by its signals when entering the trade. So yeah, give it a try and let us know how it works for you. Okay traders, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash the like button, it really helps with the channel. And also if you want to see more videos like this in the future, then feel free to subscribe to Trade IQ.